Welcome back to the Band Guide. I'm your Band Guy, Colin. And today I want to show you a plugin that I've ignored for a long time and I'm really regretting. And that is Wider by Polyverse. Now, Wider is exactly what it sounds like. It's a plugin that can help you take a sound and make it sound wider. And I've avoided this for a long time because if you saw my video just a couple videos ago, I'll link to it above here, where I talk about phase cancellation, inherently most stereo widening plugins are using some form of phase cancellation. But just recently I was talking with one of the band guide students, Barry, and he mentioned to me that he loves Wider because it is completely phase coherent. It doesn't introduce any sort of phase issues. Actually, let me pull over their website here and let's take a look at it. So this is what it says on their website, uniquely powerful stereo expansion, pseudo stereo widener without phase issues. And that is the key for me. So I thought, well, let's try it out, right? This is a free plugin from Polyverse. So I'll link to it below. You can go download it. And I would say that it's pretty accurate in what it's saying it can do. It is truly making a signal sound wider while not introducing any sort of phasing issues. Now, it does give it a bit of a process sound, so I'm timid on using it some things like vocals, but I still have used on vocals, and I'll show you an example of that here in just a second. But I particularly love it on things like vibraphones, synths, and even some guitars. It can be really, really cool. But first, let's just listen to what it's doing. So here we have it on a vibraphone track, and I'm going to start by having this off. So this is without wider on. Listen to this vibraphone. Sounds great. It is a stereo signal, so it does have a little bit of width to it, but it's not as wide as I'd like for it to be. So let's put wider on here, and all I've done is just pull this out to about 100% and listen to how much wider this sound sounds. right? Let's do it once and I'll turn it on halfway through. You'll really be able to notice it then. Check this out. So this is off currently. I'm going to flip it on. Right? Now, you probably need headphones to be able to really hear this, but if you're listening on headphones, you can definitely notice that. So I love this. It is a super cool, super easy to use plugin. As I said, I don't use it all over the place, but I am definitely using it on the vibraphone here. I've thrown it on some pianos. I use it on this guitar track here, for example, and we'll actually look at another guitar example here in just a minute. But first, let's listen to what it can sound like on vocals. Now, as I mentioned, it can give vocals kind of a process sound, but if used subtly, it can sound pretty cool. So here it is. We'll pull it up fresh. It wasn't on this track at all. If we listen in solo here, this vocal sounded like this in the pre-chorus. Am I the only one? Can anybody see? Right? Sounds great. Shout out to Marco. Thanks for letting me use this track. Really incredible, talented member of the band guide community. This is a song, Less Panic, More Disco. Definitely check it out when it comes out. Uh, but this is currently without any wider on it, set to zero. Listen as I pull it apart. You'll notice it just adds a little bit of stereo width to this vocal sound. Am I the only one? Can anybody see? If I get really extreme. The stress is high. I really need. Now, to my ears, it does give it a bit of an affected sound. It is a bit of almost a chorusy sound. My bed is are using some form of chorusing to make this happen. But at really, really subtle levels, it can give you a little bit of stereo width to your vocal that is really, really nice. So somewhere around maybe 20%, if I have this off and then click it on, notice how the vocal just gets a little bit wider when I engage this plugin. So this is off. Am I the only one? Can anybody see? The stress is high, I really need. Right, so even on a lead vocal, it can help introduce a little bit of width as long as you're being careful with it. Let's jump over to another song and listen to one guitar example and I'll show you a situation where I might use it and a situation where I definitely would not use it. All right, so here we have the song Higher by my band Broke Royals and this song has an acoustic guitar in it that's really adding a lot of energy in the chorus. Let's take a listen. Higher, higher, oh. This is what it sounds like in solo. Now, you might be thinking that's not really super prominent, but listen if I take it away. Notice that the energy of the song just kind of disappears. Higher, 
So it's subtle, but it's definitely adding a lot of energy to this track. It's not as prominently mixed as, let's say, these electric guitars here that are panned far left and right. Those are the big focus of the guitar part of this song, but this acoustic is definitely adding energy. But because it wasn't the focus of the track, we just recorded one track and we have it pan up the middle. But let's say we wanted it to be just a little bit wider. We've already recorded, we've only recorded one track. Can I make it just a little bit wider with wider. I love the name of this plugin because it just is what it does. So as you know, we're just gonna pull this wide here. So let's listen to this acoustic as I pull some width out of it. Right? That's a lot wider. If I turn it off, I go even crazier. Now, I also want to mention you may have heard it do it just there. If you are moving this really quickly, you'll hear it kind of have this weird kind of pitch shift flange thing. And I think that's because it's using a slight time delay and a chorus effect, if I had to guess. I don't know for sure because I keep the secrets under the hood, but I think that's what it's doing to create the width. So listen to this and I'll, I'll do a quick movement and notice how it kind of sounds weird for a second. Right? So if you heard that, that's just a little bit of the effect going on, but you don't hear it once it's at its set location. So let's say we want to just have a little bit of width around this acoustic in the context of the mix. Let's say somewhere around 50%. Listen to this now in that chorus. Higher, higher, oh, take you higher, Can you even go wider? So definitely a really cool effect. Now, one way you could actually use this even more interestingly, if you will, is to automate it up at key points in the song. So for example, here at the end of this verse, this acoustic guitar does this cool little lick. So we could actually automate wider to just get wider for that one moment. So let's say we have it at zero, but then just for that, it gets super, super wide. We can just go to A for automation, bring up our automation lanes, or just click up here. And we can go to wider amount. And now what I can do is find right where that starts and just draw in a point here and a point at the top and pull this, let's say 200%, let's make it crazy. Let's just make it happen super quick. So then we'll just quickly go to it. Right? Let's listen in the context of the mix. Girl, I'm not here to save you And you don't need to explain Versus Right? It's way more noticeable with that on. It's way wider. You can pick up on it a little bit easier. Really, really like that effect and that ability to just quickly widen out a sound. Now, let me show you a case where I would definitely not use this plugin. And that's on my primary lead electric guitar track. So if we listen to these tracks here in solo, this is two guitar amps with two guitars, two separate performances. And listen to how much width we have from these. One is pan far left and the other is pan far right. Right, they're super, super wide. We're not gonna get that level of width with wider. So let's just duplicate one of these tracks here and let's just add wider to it and see if we can try to get that same kind of width. So I'm just gonna put it up to center here and then pull wider all the way out to 200. Listen to this version of these guitars now. This is just a single guitar with wider at 200%. First of all, it kind of sounds weird to me. It sounds processed. Compared to these guitars. But also these guitars just sound wider to me. So again, wider. Versus two guitars recorded separately and panned far left and right. Now. 
So this is not a replacement for doubled performances. If you want true big, big wide sound, a lot of the times you'll need to record one sound and paint it off to the right and one sound and paint it off to the left. And those distinct performances will give it more width than you're gonna be able to get out of this plugin. But for something cool, just like this acoustic guitar, where we're just trying to get a little more width out of it, wider can be pretty cool, right? Just a little bit here can sound really, really cool. Or like we heard on the vocal or the vibraphone, or if you have synths or anything like that, it can be really, really great. But at the end of the day, this tool is not gonna make your music sound professional in and of itself. If you want your music to sound professional, then you have to mix it. And I wanna give you something to help with that. I've put together a completely free six step checklist to a pro mix in GarageBand that's gonna walk you through the six steps that all professional mixes have and how to do them inside GarageBand completely free. There's a link in the description below, so be sure to pick that up. And before we go, I wanna hear from you. Do you have any favorite free plugins or even paid plugins that you found that have really just added to your creativity when you're mixing. This is definitely one for me that I'm sad I ignored for so long, but I'm really happy to finally have discovered it and started using it in my mixes. Let me know any plugins that you really like in the comments below. If this video is helpful, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next week with another video. One thing at a time, I can only